everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back with my Jingle Jangle Christmas in July series. And I did tell you guys I was going to come back. I had ordered this die on Amazon. And it makes this cute, adorable treat box, gift box. Now, the box size itself, like just the the square part on the bottom where you would put all of your treats or gifts. I'm pretty sure it's two and a half by two and a half. Yes. So you got a two and a half by two and a half and it's two and a half high and then it just pops open like this. So that's a pretty decent area to fit a lot of treats and then you just push these closed and pop them down and put your sides up and I thought even if you didn't do it for Christmas you could do it you could do all kinds of things with this style box you don't even have to make it into a house if you didn't want to but I saw the photo on Amazon I have to show you this oh my gosh isn't that like I'm hoping it shows up and then there's no glare it's so cute I love how they put the flower up there but I didn't really want to do that but I kind of loved the red and white and green. So I'll show you the dies that I used besides this. And then we'll put one together so you can see how easy it is. Um, but this is the... Oh, and also, I, I did purchase this on Amazon. It's like $10.99. I saw it for this morning when I last looked. I'm not guaranteeing that price. I don't know if it will be when you look. Um, or if there'll even be any of these available. But I went shopping on Timu. Let me get all these out to show you what, what I got. Um, and they had the same exact box set a lot cheaper. But there was hardly any left. So if you're a Timu shopper, you may want to check them out. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just... Um, letting you know okay so you get this this is your box thing and then if you didn't want to do like the house you get the, a die that you can cut out pattern paper for the top and the bottom and then you get the door these cute little um, there's a gingerbread and there's a tree and they have holes in the top as like tags to add to your box. You know, you could put a piece of twine on there. And I did cut out the gingerbread. Um, I'll show you it because I wanted you guys to see. That's how it comes out. And there's like little impressions, which I don't think my camera will pick up where the eyes and stuff go. So I just kind of used my jelly roll pen and went with it, but I didn't like it. So I didn't, I didn't use it. Um, but the tree, when I ran it through, I didn't cut out this star part here. Okay, so here's the tree. And I used that actually on the back of the house. So it also comes with these square and rounded top windows. And then you get this guy for the snow. Greens and swirls. Oh, wait. Here we go. And then a tag die. And there's also this cute little bow die. And then the front door, I think I showed you. So there's a lot of dies, you know, accessories that go with this, this box. Um, and you could use it as a Christmas theme. But... I, you know, I thought even I'm going to use it for Christmas for like special gifts. And I, and it took a while to put this box together. I'm not going to lie. It was my first time. Um, and you do have to cut out a lot of pieces for this. But I thought when I get a gift and they, they make a little box like this or something similar, sometimes getting the box is a gift in itself. I think it's just so super cute in the fact that somebody actually took all that time to do this and put little treats in it for me I feel special you know when somebody does that so I'd like to do that for somebody else as well I used a little red seam binding bow on the top here and then the greens you see if you've seen a previous video let me get out my 
I have my dies on my desk. It's such a mess right now because I'm really um, crafting a lot. But we, oh, I have it out. I'm sorry. Um, we did the, the Christmas stocking um, treat box. I have these cut out and the, the real tiny ones here. You could see them on my desk. They're super, they're super tiny. Um, that's what I used for the windows. And then I used the larger ones for the top here. Um, I'll post a link below to that die set as well. And then I used some greenery from this die here from uh, Crafter's Companion. And it's just a bunch of different greenery and some pine cones. And there's a lot of different die sets out there like this. Um, you can just type in it. Seasonal foliage. Uh, but I use that as well. And I've already made our greenery. That's large pieces. And then I use greenery from that other um, die set. And then I made my bow. So I'm trying to save us some time. I'm just going to push this aside. And what you're going to need to assemble your box is you want to cut out two of these pieces and then there are score lines that you can follow and you just want to fold up your score lines and they fold really nice I was surprised I thought oh is this gonna give me a hard time or you know how easy is this gonna cut out and this is pretty this is 65 pound um, cardstock that I'm using so I'm not going to bend that too much right now, the top piece, but this is folding really nice, the score line. So it does make really nice creases for you. And this one I really want to press down. Okay, do I have them all? Yes. Okay. So what, I, what you want to do is add glue to this side. This is your inside of your box right here. You want to flip this around and you want to glue this piece to this part right here. This is the inside, okay? So you're going to be gluing it like that. And what I did to try to make it easier on myself, you see how I'm bending it? I lined up my score lines on the front and the back. And that's how I was able to glue this down pretty easy. And then I'll show you once this what this part's done, and you have to be careful when you do it. Um, but once this part's done, the other side is so simple. Ugh, I must have a little dry glue on this guy. There we go. See if that helped. Yes. Okay, so we're going to line up the score lines. See the score line here on this box and here. I'm just going to try and line them up. And before I really press it together, I'm bending my score lines. I'm bending the box to make sure it's nice and lined up. And you can look on this side as well. And that looks good. So I'm going to press that down open it up okay so now we still have this tab here and for this it's super easy all you have to do is put glue on your tab and fold up this side to meet the tab and that's it voila it's put together you can press it down and we've already got our box assembled. Now before I glue the bottoms, I want to decorate my box. So for the snow on the roof and around, if you're going to do the whole entire side, you'll need eight pieces. Quick correction, I said that you're going to need um, eight of these to make the shingles in the snow. Um, you're actually going to need eight four for the front, four for the back, but you're you're going to need 12 all together cuz you're going to need eight eight just for the rooftop and then you're going to need four for the bottom here. So, quick correction on that. And when I 
started this one when you glue it down here on this fold let me show you right here let me move these tabs out of the way when I glue it here I wanted to glue it so that part of the shingle is sticking off of the roof can you see that so you when you glue it you want to glue it a little bit these rounded pieces a little bit lower than the score line so you don't want to add glue to that section you want to just go halfway and that's if you want your shingle to hang off your roof line like I had mine and I just want it hanging off a little bit I don't need it hanging off a whole lot but see how it hangs off that a little hopefully my camera's picking that up and then press it down and then I'm just gonna glue the other four and I'll show you how I did the windows and then you guys can assemble just want to overlap them so that you don't see any you know when you put them on you want to overlap them a little bit so you don't see any box showing through I like to do videos on dies I buy because there's been times when I've purchased dies and and you'll see um, I do a witch's cauldron box for my Halloween series that's coming up and when I got the die I was like oh my gosh what do I do with this how do I create this witch's cauldron treat box with like two dies you know and I, I had no idea what I was doing and my husband nobody had a video at the time and you know my husband and I were like sitting there and he finally figured it out thank goodness and um, I'm you know I'm the crafty one using dies all the time and he's the one that figured it out so okay so I didn't overlap it as good as the other side but you get the you get the gist of what I'm I'm talking about now for the windows it cuts out the white piece here so what I did was I glued it onto red cardstock and then our, or whatever cardstock color you want to use and then all you have to do is just cut around it and you have your cute little window okay and then I use these tiny little greens on all of the windows and I found in my stash I had these red brads these floral brads and I thought you know what I really want to use those up so I glued the greens on the windows first and then I pushed the brad on and just folded it over and that's all I did both sides because when you get a brad it has two sides here I just did both and I'm going to add hot glue to that and put them on um, but we're going to glue the snow on the bottom first and I'm just going to show you how I did one side of the box because I don't want to take up too much of your time and the rest is pretty much the same okay so that's the bottom and then I'm going to take my windows actually I glued the door on first so let me glue the door right here and I think I'm going to use my black sharpie pen to kind of highlight the doorknob but I want to center this a little bit and push it underneath that snow just a smidge um, but there's a doorknob like right in here so I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my black sharpie and highlight that a little more okay so let me add some hot glue because I want that brad to really stay on there I wanted to add hot glue to it and I'm pretty much going to line the windows up straight across from the door top. I'm going to hold that brad down 
Um, and I probably will not use brads on all of my boxes that I make, but I am all about trying to use my stash this year, guys. I really want to make a dent. You know, I have, I love craft shopping, but if you don't use your stuff, it just sits there and you just keep shopping and shopping and shopping and, you know, that's kind of crazy. So, that's the front of our box. So cute. And then I have this that I made with my seam binding and my greens. And I'm going to add some hot glue to the back of that. And I don't want to get it past that fold, but I want to get it lined up with the top of the shingle here. Oh my gosh, that looks so sweet. Okay, and then you'll go around and I put two round top windows on the sides here and the snow. And in the back, I meant to put um, a square window like in the front of the house, but I ended up doing a round one. And then I just glued on, I glued on my tree and I put the tree trunk under the snow. Okay, so that's it. And then when you're all done doing that, you want to fold your two sides in. And I do add a little bit of glue to the one edge here. And then I add glue to both sides before I close these flaps. Because this can be a little tricky. And put one flap down and it doesn't overlap a lot as you can see here it just overlaps this other flap a little bit so I'm just gonna hold it there a second and to make sure it's really adhered well I'm gonna take my other end of my bone folder and I'm just gonna run it along the bottom to really make sure that's pushed together and then you just join these two and you're going to want to push down a little like this to get these pieces on and that's it guys that's how you assemble the box and you could decorate it however you'd like I hope you guys give this a try if you have the die and like I said, I will post a link below to the one that I got on Amazon. But if you're a Timu shopper, you may want to check the Timu to see if they have any of these left. You might get it at a cheaper price. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Any questions, let me know. Take care and happy crafting.